goes that. There's gotta be another way. Prototypes. Angels are a prototype of humans. Hear me out. We never know where angels came that? from. Many religions speak about angels, but we don't know where they originate from. We know that they work for um, the Lord, but we don't know where they originate from. Hear me out, with the one. Angels used to have their own planet until a war happened and this planet was beautiful and it was like heaven and like the angels could see God from from the sky like God was staring down at them from the sky but they can see God from the sky because there wasn't no universe and that was the first planet that God made and because of the war that happened the angels that survived the war have to seek refuge so what did they do they went to God and they said yo we need a place to stay where are we gonna stay and they're gonna say hmm you see this place is called heaven you can stay there but I got a job for you from now on you guys have all different roles all different jobs to do because now I'm making a prototype now I'm making the human race turns out these guys were just the prototypes of the human race to see what it be like of the human race so if you 
creates the human race. What the fuck was that? The Big Bang happens, all of that. And that's why, like, the angels made an agreement with God to be they ser to be a serpent to God until the day of judgment day. And my theory of um, them being a prototype of humans is because I'm saying they the first species to ever exist. Okay, they the first ones. The angels are the first ones that God made. Not humans. I don't know why we have this brainwashed. But like they, I think, no, it's because like the angels got ex The inspiration for humans was from angels. You know these half dog people, they say, oh, this is our half dog half human they used to exist ancient times back then dogs could walk on two legs through evolution they decided to walk on four legs back then they used to walk on two legs wolf dogs fox they used to walk on two legs just decided to walk on all fours because of evolution And the whole Anubis is a half dog, half human. Nope. Anubis was wearing a mask that looked like a dog, and he was just a regular dude. He was tricking the people of Egypt into thinking that he was a god of death. Spider-Man 2 DLCs that need to exist. Number one, Carnage. We need to have a DLC with Carnage on it. Okay? Because perfect opportunity. Number two, we need a DLC with Green Goblin. This will be a DLC called Revenge, where the Green Goblin tries to get revenge on Spider-Man. I think it, that's the only two DLCs I know that should be in the Spider-Man game and then in Spider-Man 3 we should have like Hobgoblin and we should have like um, The Will this character and we should have like this guy we should have Morbius in Spider-Man 3 and we're gonna get um, Doc, Doc Octavius and we should have um, Blade in Spider-Man 3 also I think Null aka the master of all of the symbiotes should be in Spider-Man 3 and I just think that there should be a DLC where Spider-Man have to do a favor for the human torch I want the spot to be in like Spider-Man 4 as his own challenging separate
um, boss fight character. Could you imagine how hard that would be? And it would only like be like two other characters, which are these are the two other characters. Church. No. Some kind of heretic temple. Where is Moon Knight Season 2 and Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse? Hello Marvel. Where is it? Usually when a TV show has a... It's gonna have a Season 2. Usually when a TV show gives you cliffhangers they give you like a season 2 that's the whole point of TV show cliffhangers but they decided not to especially with Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse where is that? Oh, you wanted to be free. 
why would you want to join the military when you're not 14 to kill people? Someone can block off your connection with someone else because they appeared in your life out of nowhere. As soon as you was gonna talk to that person, they just appeared into your life and blocked out the connection between you and them. That's what I hate about girls.
doesn't know you're here, don't breathe or make a sound at all. My heart is racing. That might be an elevator. No shit, Sherlock. Power's cut off. They've gotta have a generator or something. If the fucking thing doesn't run on prayers. That might be an elevator. It's up there, isn't it? Thank you. 
joy is all. For we are in sorrow for the fight. Miss Arbor. And the sorrows of a trophy. And this arbor is a place of breaking forth the children of hell, but also I hate the separations of rich and poor. You want to know why? Because rich people act like they're better than everyone else. 
and then like they separate themselves from the poor say for example he's got a friend and all of a sudden he starts becoming rich and then all of a sudden he cuts off communication with you and you're like why <coughs> like now he's not humbled but I like the rich people that are like humbled and never done anything bad they're just like a normal human being like they humbled and they're like oh yeah I'm rich meh whatever I can buy this mm, whatever that kind of rich people they don't really act like they rich they're like normal human beings Is great and not is his prophet. And not is the power of the brain. Not will redeem us from death. I'm starting to think that the Mothman is actually Satan himself running around trolling people. Just hear me out. Or maybe I'm starting to think that he's not Satan, he's a demon. Or he's just the Mothman, regular, normal person, I got no other words. Normal creature, just, just flying around, minding his own business. Just like how the um, Bigfoot is just minding his own business, walking around.
Okay, Baphomet is supposed to represent good and bad, yin yang, but the Satanists took him and they made him a demonic um, presence. Baal is related to the Minotaur. Also, that Baal, the story of Baal goes like he used to be he was a king he became a, a king that people worship because he was a hybrid he was a half human half, just like the minotaur he was a hybrid he was a half human half bowl okay so he was also bigger than the human race which made him threatening and people started worshiping him because he commanded them to worship him and then he starts doing these fucked up stuff for example eating babies and then he starts promising stuff like you'll get good luck if you let me eat your baby by the way back then humans were like Foolish, they were very, they were like IQ percent for like one percent. They had no self awareness. I sometimes just think that Baphomet is just a guy wearing a goat head. It just looks like a guy wearing a goat head.
Sins of Zion are bound up and all debts to God come due. There's wailing, there's pain, and there's blood, but it is joyous all, for we are in the sorrows of a complaining one. Abra is a place of breaking forth of death, hell, but also And Noth will reign. The reason why you cannot know what God looks like or what the angels look like is because it will be very difficult for you to know what angels look like and God looks like. And even though, even as you see an angel in your dream or as you see the creator in your dream and you try to describe what the creator looks like, you have difficulties describing what it looks like. Is because it's like you trying to you go to the fourth dimension and then you describe the fourth dimension to the two dimension you say to the two dimension people yeah do you know what up and down is you know what side up left is and up right is and um, west south east north and they'll be way confused they'll be like what are you talking about? There's only side to side. There's no up and down. There's only side to side, up, down, side to side. 
There's no up and down, side to side, left to right. I can't turn around. Can you do something called turning around? What the hell is turning around? It's like saying that to a two dimensional being. They will not understand. They cannot comprehend what fourth dimensional is. You cannot comprehend what fourth dimensional is. Also, you cannot comprehend what the. They cannot comprehend what the fifth dimension is, which we are in the fifth dimension. See, no one knows what God looks like because th you can't even know what the fourth dimension looks like. I can find my way back to the elevator. Joyous all, for we are in the sorrows of a travailing woman. From this arbor is a place of breaking forth of death. The children of hell, but I.
you ravenous. Me? 